Good morning, there is this new front-end framework called um, Solid and it seems like its API is very similar to React. It also supports JSX, it also supports hooks and context and I wonder how easy it would be to rewrite a simple React application to Solid. So I have this simple example up where we have an input and a button and we can add new nodes to the list. Test new node and something else. Inside of the app, we have the main component that uses the notes list, add and remove notes functions from the notes context. Here we have a list of notes created using the use state hook. We have an add node function, remove node function, and we propagate them through the context API using notes context provider. My plan is to generate a new solid application, take all the code from this app, including the app.js, node context, and probably something from the index.js and just put it into the solid app and see what will we have to change to make it work. First, let's create a new solid application. We do it using npm init solid app notes app solid. Okay, let's go to notes app solid and open it in the editor. To be honest, the structure already looks very familiar. There is no React import, of course. Let's look at the index.js. Yeah, it looks almost exactly like React application. Okay, let's migrate our code. First, I go to app.js of the React application, copy the code, go back to the solid app, paste it here. I remove the React imports. Instead of use state, solid uses create state. I need to import create state from solid.js and remake use state to create state. Now let's go to notes context, copy the contents, go back, create new file, notes context.js, paste it, remove react imports, import create context and create state from solid.js, remake use state to create state. We also need to import use context. And now let's go to index.js and wrap our app into a provider. We'll need to wrap it into a function. Inside of it, we can now use the regular JSX. We wrap our app into nodes provider, format the document. Also, we need to install the nano ID package because we used it in the nodes context to generate IDs for our nodes. Yarn add nano ID. Okay, let's launch the app and we see an error in the console. Let's go back. So first thing I've noticed is that you cannot destructure props anymore. So we have to remove the ch children destructuring and use props. And here we need to return props children. Next, the state creation now works differently. So instead of creating state for each variable you want to have in your component, you create the state for the whole component, like for all the variables you will have there. So it will be state, set state, and we create the field nodes inside of the state. Nodes, empty array. Now let's rewrite the callbacks. Add node is set state, nodes, nodes, and we return a new array with the nodes contents and the new node. We can rename this argument to the text to simplify the code. Now let's fix the remove node, set state, nodes, nodes as an argument, and we filter the nodes that we removed. Now instead of passing the nodes, we need to pass the state to our value. Now let's go to app.js, fix the way we are using nodes context, state instead of nodes, and here we need to get the nodes field from the state, state nodes map. Also, we need to remake the way we are using state. So it will be node text with an empty string by default. And let's call it text state set text state. Now we need to call set text state node text event target value. Here we use text state node text. 
in the on click handler we also need to use text state node text and instead of set node text we call set text state node text empty string let's go back to the browser try to add new nodes add new node for some reason the field is not being cleared I've made a typo let's fix it let's go back add some nodes adding nodes works let's remove the nodes and it also works so as you can see SolidJS API is very similar to the one of ReactJS but for me it was it caused a little bit of the uncanny valley effect because the API is sim similar enough to feel familiar and feel reacty but it has some significant differences like in the way you cannot destructure the props or you have to define your state in some different way and maybe some other changes because the app I was making here was too small to judge properly. Thank you for watching this video. You can pick the topics for the next videos if you join to my Discord server and vote in the video ideas channel. See you next time.